All right, guys, we want to say welcome to each one of you, and thank you guys for joining us today for our, It's a Family Affair. And, guys, I think we've got few, quite a few of you tagged out there, and we just <laughs> asked that you guys would help us to get it uh, shared out there to the rest of the audience and yes. uh, so that we can get our show going. And we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you once again for joining in. Guys, I hope you all have made it through that rain and oh, storm yes, that's been going on. Out I think it was horrible last <laughs> night here in the city of Dallas. Well, I was in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got I home. In the house. I got home for the first time yesterday, and at seven thirty, seven forty-five, I was asleep. Oh yeah, and I think the I'm rain so helped me out yes. along the yes. way. Yes. So yes. I was not feeling good yesterday, so <laughs> I came home from work and I got in the bed. Yes, Amen. yes. Yeah. Sometimes you need that rest. Oh, about four. About yeah. four. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're excited, guys, today for another show here on uh, It's a Family Affair. We're back on our children again yeah. today. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Last children. week we had a uh, excellent call and you know we just focus so much on the children and I think that that is such an important uh, area to us all and yes. uh, many of us are just wanting to make sure that we are looking at things maybe from a healthier perspective right. with our children I don't know about you guys but I think about when I was being raised we didn't have any of this stuff mm -hmm. out there where people nah. were trying to give us some advice to stuff they just told you <laughs> go sit down somewhere <laughs> right. and be quiet and be quiet <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't open your mouth. Yeah, and, and, you talk, <laughs> and don't talk with grown folks. Oh, no, <laughs> no. I'm no. Yeah, I'm no, no. no. Stay in your place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 don't yeah. be over at grown folk table. Don't. <laughs> it's not your season yet. It's not your season. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, we're excited, guys. And, uh, so y'all, we have two wonderful guests that's going to be joining with us oh, on yeah. today, uh, so Mr. Excited. Marcus Wade. And yes. we're going to let Mr. Marcus Wade introduce himself in just a little bit. And then also we have Mrs. Regina Crane that's going to be joining us for the second hour of the show. And we're we're really excited about both really of them. Excited. But before we get started, we're going to let Mrs. Faith kind of uh, share with you guys again about how to get connected with oh, us okay. so that we can get started for today. All right, now, we're going to stay connected. Stay yes. connected and stay connected in the living room. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Good evening, early evening here in the DFW and all in the radio listening audience. We're so glad for you all to be here with us today and just want to tell you how you can connect with us if you are on or if you need to jump on to your internet to your computer you can reach us at www.fbrn.us and we are in the bowl in the blue stream yeah we yes. are blue all the, time. <laughs> all the time or you can reach us on our facebook we have a facebook page you guys hey, man. and oh, yeah. it's called it's a family affair radio, radio show. show. Yes. Yes. And it's yes. I A F A radio <laughs> show. <laughs> radio show. And you can get us live there as well. We have a stream going on. And I also have a stream on my page, Faith Davis. You can see us live there. Now, during the show today, hopefully we can get some calls in. And if you would like to call in, have a question yes. or a concern or you just want to give us a shout out, you can reach us at area code 214-431-5062. Yes. So that's how you reach us. That's how you get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, good deal. Well, guys, you all know we like to get our show started with the early, with the nuggets of the day, and <laughs> Mr. Joe is always ready for us. Y'all, I tell you, get your pen and paper down. <laughs> you never know <laughs> what Joe is going to be sharing with us on today. Yeah, <laughs> try to give us some, some. Got my notebook, Joe. You know, I would. I was just kind of listening, and actually, I was listening to you, Marilyn, earlier today. And I was saying, well, what am I going to talk about a little bit today? And I was thinking you was talking about that rest thing. Yes. See, yes. we have to rest in reason. Yes. Rest in reason and move in passion. Yeah. The body, the body needs rest. Yes. You have to take rest. Yes. Take yes. rest. A field at rest produces a bundle crop. Say that again, Joe. A f a f we have to take rest. Take rest. A field at rest produces a bountiful crop. Oh, I like that. Yeah. We function better. If our bodies are shutting down, we don't function that's good. Right that's there. right. We right. don't function good. But that's once right. we get that rest, that yeah. rest, and that's a physical rest, wow. and yeah. also that's beyond good. that, yeah. we rest in his arms. Oh, my God. And yes. see, you give. Yeah. When you're giving, 
mentoring and yeah. coaching. Yeah. You giving, you yeah. working, and it takes out of you. Mm -hmm. So she has That's rest. That's work. Too. Yes, mm -hmm. and then to get more, you have to take rest. That's right. And that's then right. you get more to give it back out. That's right. Get that's more right. to give it back out. <laughs> and that's what we're here. We're here to encourage. We're here to give. Yes. And uh, we're going to have a wonderful show, so you all oh, yeah. stay with us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That has We've been talking about that on our early morning time yeah. as well. For those of you that have not had an opportunity to join in, uh, we have an early morning. Or we're out, well, I do a devotion early in the morning, Monday through Friday at 630, and we were talking about entering into that rest, yes. uh, talking about the 23rd Psalm, yes. and how you <clears throat> have to learn how to lie down yes. in green pastures, yes, stop do. worrying about things, and mm. let the Lord come mm. in and re refresh you, yes. quench you with that water. Yes. Yes. And yes. sometimes, guys, we have to take even rest from our children. Yes. Because yes. I yes. don't know about y'all, but I remember when those kids were little, they were, when they got into those teen years, they wanted to take, they want you to take them everywhere. Absolutely. Can you take us to the skating <laughs> yeah. rink? Can you take us over to my friend's oh, yeah, house? And, and it was like we had worked so many hours. You know, you want to continue to, you yes. know, try to uh, show them, you know, the support. But sometimes we were literally tired oh, in the midst of it. Yeah. yeah, and not and not understanding that those kids, they have a sense of energy that we just don't Absolutely. have anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and that's, that's what we're going to be talking about mm -hmm. in our show today, yeah. understanding our youth Absolutely. and what it is that they need mm -hmm. and what may be throwing them yeah. off course sometimes that maybe we as parents need to, to really come in on. and pick up yeah. on uh, because it's so easy for us to forget yes. that we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> along the way, oh, and yeah. how long so, it took us to change? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so, right. so we're we're really excited about that. And guys, we have a our guest, Mr. Marcus Wade. We want Marcus to be able to jump in at any time. Jump in, Marcus. Right. And, uh, jump in the bowl. Talk to us about that. <laughs> but first, before we get started, we're gonna let Marcus introduce himself, and okay. then we're gonna uh, talk about where this passion, even for children, with Marcus yes. came from, right. and what did he what it is that he does for the community and his workplace as well. Okay. First of all, thank you for having us. Appreciate being here. Uh, my name is Marcus Wade. I'm from Tyler, Texas, and I'm a therapist. I'm a social worker, licensed social worker, and I'm a licensed chemical dependency counselor. Uh, I have a lot of my um, training in cognitive behavior therapy, so I look at a lot of the behavior patterns that go on with not only kids but adults as well mm -hmm. and how I stem. Actually, kids turn into adults yeah. so with this yeah, right. mentality and behavior. <laughs> And we do a lot of interventions approach to help people to restructure their thought process and their oh, actions yeah. that go along with their perception to create this new change. So that's kind of what we do in, in a nutshell. I do a lot of other things with anger management, domestic violence. I do a, a lot of training dealing with their prevention. I do a lot of other training dealing with um, uh, just cognitive behavior therapy in different workshops in the community or with the social work conferences that, that come to uh, either the Austin area or the Dallas area. So I'm very involved in my community with those type of things. And right. I've even developed and doing some life coaching with some people that just need some restructuring in their lives and just wow. daily living. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Marcus, that sounds like a whole lot that you're doing out there <laughs> yeah. with the community oh, yeah. and uh, even uh, in those areas. Marcus, tell us where your passion is coming from because in order to have that much energy, yes. you, there has to be a supernatural strength coming from <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> you do get tired. You got to rest. <laughs> I think it just comes from me going through uh, – the, the child process myself as a kid, I uh, grew up in a single parent household and wanting some structure or guidance to a father figure and didn't have it until later on in life, but needing some type of um, discipline, if you will. And even as I went through all my ups and downs and trials that I came out on the other end uh, pretty good. You know, I landed on my feet, you know, I had to go through my own bumps in the road. But I learned that in order to probably stop the cycle, you had to pretty much teach this principle to other people. So yeah. Yeah. I developed a passion just for men initially. Then it became for kids because when I work at the hospital, I work with these kids that were just hurting. Wow. And I saw this hurt. And I had to understand where the hurt was coming from, and I understood it was coming from them being traumatized by something in their home family or being uprooted out of the home family or even wow. just being in the family itself, and they have a lot of turmoil. Yeah. And that confuses children in how they react and behave, how they treat other people. And one of divorce is one of the things that kind of trigger a lot of behaviors without us even knowing it because kids will do one thing very well. They'll bear their emotions. Wow. And then they come out in behaviors, and we'll yeah. label them as being bad, and yeah. actually they're hurt. Wow. 
Right. You know, they're misunderstood. Yeah. They're not being listened to. So right. all these factors play a part in how we respond because we're frustrated ourselves that right. we hadn't did right. our yeah. spiritual journey of cleansing or trying to renew ourselves. And wow. we want them to react in a healthy way when we cannot act in a healthy way. Oh, so okay. I think that's a, a miscarriage of responsibility on our part. Okay. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 really, um, I think, uh, something that we don't always think about. Yeah. Marcus, I kind of remember back um, uh, when I worked with the Head Start children, uh, that's what I experienced with them. We were trying to get those four-year-old children on a healthy path, and then parents bring them to school and sometimes mm-hmm. throw off stuff. the whole system <laughs> of what you've been trying to do right. because the households are kind of yes, out right. of order right. with a lot. And so a lot of times you're having to go in and do Retrain. a little, yeah, a little bit of uh, talking to mm-hmm. the parents as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. Yes. because those ch- children are mirroring yes. what they yes. see. Exactly. Most what definitely they so. Yes. Yes. Most yes. definitely yes. so. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you have to look at this, this picture right here, though. I mean, if you're going to teach a kid in school certain principles they go home and it's not reinforced, right. but they're taught something else. They're going to come back and learn the thing where their core foundation is at. They're going right. to bring you what the family is teaching them. Right. It's yeah. hard for them to hold on to new information when the old information is being reinforced. That's right. So yeah. we have to break the cycle. So the whole family has to change, okay. not just the kid, not, not, not even maybe just the, the, the wife or just the husband. Everyone mm-hmm. has to make a change, not even just the younger sibling or older, but every child has to make a change, wow. not just one. Yes. It's everyone is getting therapeutic help and intervention to make this cycle just destroy itself and not come back to, to attach to the next generation. That's right. Yeah. You know, and that's what the process has to be. It's it, it almost like, Marcus, what you're saying is basically you got to kill it at the root. You have to kill it at the root, most definitely. Some people don't like going to the root because that's when we kind of reenter that, that painful area that we don't like talking about, right. we don't like discussing, we don't like going there. Right. But in, until we're able to talk about it with some... I don't know, some break-free moments, if you will, <laughs> we, we won't get through it. It has to be able to talk about that painful event without right. thinking that we're reliving it. But I'm talking about it in a freedom state, almost like right. when they used to do testimony services in church. They just would testify about yeah. these things that God has brought them through. <laughs> now we don't want to talk about it because I don't want people to know what I've been oh, through. Okay. That's and right. that's a misconception of what freedom is about. That's yeah. right. You talk about the breakthrough, not you don't want to talk about the bondage. You talk about the breakthrough, the breakthrough. but people, even people in AA talk about how. I was what happened and how it is today That's the right. journey yes yeah. mm-hmm. you yeah. know and they stay within that concept of what change has brought them to so they don't have to go back through it mentally or subconsciously wow. to keep them in prison That's okay. right. That's wow. right. that is so wow. true that i just sense. came back from a conference with uh set free and delivered in uh chicago and it's important once you have come out of something mm-hmm. that you don't hide it and put it in the closet That's right. yeah. that you you're not walking in that what you came or you were set free from but you're not forgetting where you came from that's and right. you're right. helping others you're pulling them and oh, snatching absolutely. them most out. definitely yeah. so it's important that we don't forget where we came from exactly you know? yeah. your testimony will free others that's yes, right yes definitely right. Yeah. And when people definitely. see that you've come through it and you're continuing to come through whatever you've experienced that's they're going right. to say well they got what I want you know yeah. how did they really yeah. get it how are they keeping it yes. right. because they something keeps it. dragging me back into that's it and right. when they hear your testimony or your ability to break through this situation they want it that's yeah. when they yes. read your books the right desire. that's when they sign up to your facebook posts yes. and all these things and follow you because you have something they want they just don't know how to get it that's, that's right. right that's exactly. right that's right exactly and sometimes marcus i can only imagine they don't know where to start <laughs> yes. to most definitely that. what yeah. it is that they need yeah that's right mm-hmm. you know because that that it's like trying to scratch an itch that you can't get to that's right. Right. like a cast it's is a over block. it and you keep yeah. trying to stick that little right. Right. And most you definitely can't scratch it <laughs> yeah. well, African American families are the probably the, the worst at asking for help when that's what we need to do. I mean, in, in certain parts of this century here, we, we would ask for help when we pull together and band together. Now we so disperse some, but we do our own individual thing. But when one hurt, we all hurt. That's right. You know, not just African Americans in general, but as a society. Right. Yes, sir. If we that's do right. not reach out and ask for help right. in the midst of this storm or this painful experience, yeah. we don't go through this thing thinking that we're alone, and yeah. we're really not. Right. That's exactly yeah. right. All we have to do is open up our mouth and yes. proclaim yes. what we need, yes. and it's going to come. Right. right. Maybe right. not when we want it, but if I proclaim it long enough, yeah. right. Right. Yeah. the breakthrough is coming. And yeah. that's what yeah. children do. Yeah. Children trying to tell us things. My, my daughter, she's three, and she, was, she said something, and I stopped what I was doing. She said, you're not listening to me. 
me. Wow, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And I, at the time, I wasn't going to listen to the other two. Yeah. yeah. And she yeah. said, you're not listening to me. No one listened to me. She said that word as well. And I stopped, put what I had down on the yes, table. That's right. And I responded, I said, I'm listening to you. That's right. Mm-hmm. What do you need? That's right. Right. Because the next thing I'm going to see is a behavior that I don't want. Yes, sir. Or like or That's appreciate. Right. And That's then right. I'm going to react or respond to it like she's supposed to know better at three. Right. And she's three. When I know 43s <laughs> yeah. don't know better That's right. or not right. doing better. Yes. So I can't have an expectation, unrealistically, <laughs> if you will, for a child to respond to what they call acceptable behavior when adults are not doing their part wow. as well. Right. Marcus, you said something about how sometimes in the African-American community, we are the world's worst. Why do you think that we don't like help? You know, what's what's wrong with us? The struggle struggle is real. (laughs) (laughs) I think we. I think that it yes, has a dollar to do with pride, yeah. but also I think it comes from my historical uh, upbringing, if you will. A lot of times when we came out, of especially the slavery mentality, guys, uh, we would band together as a whole de- dealing with race, but yet and still we would only ask for help among those people. Then you had the disparity of the that the, the part that they began to separate mm-hmm. people through calamities that were happening in different communities. So people began to be at odds against each other. Oh, okay. You know, they stopped trusting each other because okay. they made it look like that we would turn on each other. Oh, you know, this, yeah. this is a society thing. That's right. And what it did, it causes us to distrust. Yes. And when we distrust, we don't ask anyone for help right. because we don't think people will help us. That's, that's right. right. Especially right. also if we've been let down by a group that's supposed to have help, like the church. Right. Yes. You know, that's that's right. Right. mental health that's is a right. big stigma in the church. Mm-hmm. I mean, you come in to they say well, let's pray it out you have something on you or in you that right. uh the guy can take out but you but might you have a short a, amount of time to get right. it done yeah you might have this <laughs> right. biological concept of depression as well that may come with more than just prayer mm-hmm. wow. it may need medication management yeah, that's, that's, right. Right. that's right you know it may need some therapeutic intervention right mm-hmm. It may need a change in location. Right. It yes. may need getting out of relationships. It might be wow. all of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, but you know what, yeah. Marcus, sometimes, it, you, know, you know how we, we don't like that word crazy. No. And oh, that's dear. what it makes us start thinking about, like, yeah. something wrong with you and right. you come from, you know, right. that's what we used to say yeah, a lot. They yeah. crazy. Yeah. Oh, right. 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 And, and we think that going to get medicine is a, a derivative of being Big crazy, crazy. Right. Right. and it's not that's it's right. just not an, an a, a, a balance that's yeah. kind of right. off within our system yeah. from a lot of different yeah, things that may be taking place that. well let me help you out though how do you define trauma, trauma? how would you define trauma okay. well it could be it could, be, it could be a physical thing or a mental thing. Yeah, so if a kid has been yelled at yes. for something, could that traumatize them? Oh, to yes. fear yes. a parent? If yes. a kid is corporal punishment by a switch or a shoe or a hand slap or something, would that traumatize wow. a kid? Yeah. Exactly. Yes, sure. So if I'm traumatized and I grew up with this trauma in me mm-hmm. and I don't know how to express my emotions, what are you going to see? Behavior yes, in right. an adult, right. <laughs> yeah, all the wow. way through. Case closed. That's yeah. right. So, so that's how they're acting. Yeah. Most of them. That's how. They, so you have to find a way. This is a solution. One of them anyway. You have to find a way to nurture your kids despite their behavior. Yeah, that's yes. right. That's right. And nurturing mm-hmm. comes in a lot of different aspects. When right. you're trying to get kids and families to realign themselves and break this cycle of dysfunctionality, you have to find a way to nurture children through whatever dysfunction they're experiencing, so they'll learn to use their words right. mm-hmm. versus their behavior. That's right. Okay. And, Marcus, and, give us some examples of things that 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 the children. Well, I mean, behaviors. what we would do to change or modify that behavior. Yeah. Keep our tone at a, a, a very low limit. Okay. Don't don't raise it above a certain height. Mm-hmm. Uh, kneel down to a child's level, even oh, if they're a okay. teen. You know, mm-hmm. you don't want to seem like you're oh, just a bigger person just right. because yeah. you're the adult. Yeah. You want to make sure that they have a neutral opportunity to communicate with you versus thinking that since we're the, the adult, our final word goes, which it may, but we don't want to give them the sense that we're just the authority because they have a voice. That's right. Because if a teenager can't voice their voice to you, who are they going to voice to? That's their right. friends or the community? Right. Or they won't talk at all. Right. Mm-hmm. And now we have another problem. They yeah. won't talk to me. Well, because sometimes we don't listen. That's right. right. And then we want to accept that their viewpoint is valid. I right. just don't agree with it. Right. right. Absolutely. You know, it's valid. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's right. valid that 11 o'clock should be. But here is just not 11 o'clock. I understand that he's doing it there. However, that may come a day we can do it. Right now we're going to try this time. Frame. That's right. Mm-hmm. We have to negotiate. Yeah. Right. If you don't negotiate, we become the law. And then we are fearful of things because 
automatically this is what a kid would say. They're going to say no. They always do. Yeah. Yeah. They don't oh. give us a chance then yeah. to be flexible yeah. right. because yeah. we never present ourselves as flexible. Right. Yeah. So we see the behavior patterns. Right, right. right. And we wonder what's wrong with them. That's mm -hmm. right. Right? Yeah. They turn to the boyfriend. They trust them more than they trust, trust the, parent the parent because they're listening to them. That's right. That's right, Marco. That's right. And I that's talk all to they were really that's looking it. for. Yeah, they was, yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Now, I don't have to agree with you to listen to you and say, you know what? That's a pretty good point. Even if it's about sex. Mm -hmm. It can be about drugs. It can be about alcohol, cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I can just be open and honest and versus putting up the wall and say, you know what? You can't do that. Yes. That's right. I can still talk to have the conversation with them. Because right. guess what? When I tell them no nine times out of ten, they're probably going to try it anyway. Yeah. Right. But I'm yeah. going to give them the pros and the cons about That's it. Right. That's probably the best route to go sure. yeah. versus putting up this big fence and saying if you do it, it's off it's limits. Yeah. You're going to get kicked out. Mm -hmm. But these are consequences I don't want. But I'm going to try it anyway because at least they're willing to talk to me about yeah. it, my right. friends, or even their friends' parents yeah. right. who yeah. may be doing it and giving it to them. Oh, yeah. You know, they're willing to listen to me, and they love me. They like me better than you, and I like them better than you because they, they like listen to me. That's right. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 Because yeah. they also are giving them probably the things that they're looking for. So. Right. Exactly. So, so basically you saying then parents have to be careful about the words that's coming out of Most their mouth. Most definitely. Um, and they have to be, in my opinion, they have to be always seasoned with salt. Even if I'm upset with my kids, my kids are young, I still have to use words that are seasoned with salt so they understand that I'm trying to give them some direction and not just correction. Mm -hmm. That's right. That direction. Yeah. 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 Not you know, just correction. Correct. Yes. You know what, Marcus, the other day, um, you know, in hindsight, uh, we're better <laughs> grandparents than we are. Yes, <laughs> Send them home. <laughs> so yeah. my granddaughter, the other day, uh, every opportunity I get, I, I go pick her up from school, you mm -hmm. know, and so we get to have our little private times Five. together. Yeah. And so I noticed that my iPad on my YouTube had been changed. Mm -hmm. And it's got Jessica's little, uh, she doesn't logged in on her page and she loves this rapper papoose <laughs> have papoose heard of them, but yeah y'all might not have heard of them i probably heard the song but yeah, not papoose, the name okay. papoose and uh those, I, I know all y'all out there in the audience probably know these people but anyway <laughs> oh, papoose. J J jordan told me she said granny i just love the way papoose treats remy so she's watching them for wow. different reasons oh. and uh i said well you know uh, tell me about because i'm i want to know that's, that's right. key yeah that's, yeah. Right. that's she key. said uh she said yeah. i love the way papoose treats her he said she's She's so, uh, he's so protective over her. And uh, then he tells me, you know, uh, she had gone to prison or whatever, and Papoose waited on her to, you know, to come home and, mm -hmm. you know, really treated her fairly and everything. So I told him, I said, well, pull them up on there. I want to see what they, you know, because I want to see what they Most talk definitely. about. You yeah, know, that's, that's right. the next step. Oh, right. Words absolutely. plant things inside of kids. Yeah, that's that's right. right. And then, I don't know if you guys heard me talking about it. I think it was a couple of shows ago. Remember I told you, J Jordan, she, she got a love thing going somewhere because I yeah. can tell by the music she's yeah. listening to, <laughs> it's Papoose that she's watching. Oh. And she's oh, got this okay. love connection that she's relating. So anyway, we took it on a little bit further and we started talking about relationships. Mm -hmm. And so Jordan says, she said, well, Granny, I don't think it's good for people just to marry people when they first meet them or whatever. She said, I think that you have to spend some time with these yeah, people. And right. she said, because mm -hmm. if you only have good times with them, you really don't know whether this person is somebody you really want to be with because you ain't had no that's bad right. time. Yeah, and I'm definitely. sitting up here like, am I sitting in a therapy session or what? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. And, uh, and we were sense. going on, and I was thinking, man, this girl is wise beyond her age. Mm. But what Jordan was showing me is where her interest is at. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. She's interested in relationships. Yeah. A healthy one. A healthy relationship. <laughs> right. Right. That's key. And That's I was like, let her keep listening. But last night, you know, before I went to bed and everything, I was trying to pull up some music so I could put some worship on, mm -hmm. and Papoose was on my thing. Uh -huh. So I said, let me go listen to see what Papoose, Papoose. and Rem is singing. I said, no, she could be listening to them all the time because they're kind of out there a little oh, bit wow. but it's the relationship right that she's so interested sure. in yeah. and sure. so my thing is let's steer her in the right in, in the right direction mm -hmm. 
be mindful of words that come in because That's those right. words do plant yeah. seeds yes. inside Absolutely. of you. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. let's Absolutely. pull what you need out of it. What they say, eat the fish yeah. and spit the, the bones, bones out. Wow. You know, right. so that's what we're kind of working on right. now. Yeah. Letting her be who she is because I don't know what God has designed right. for her right. to be later yes. on in life. Yes. But most of the time, what parents would do was turn that stuff off, well, get yeah. that out of my right. house. I think you that's know. generation. I think I'm a baby boomer. Um, back in my day, we weren't allowed to be expressive, yes. you know, like the children are now and young adults. Right. They're more creative, Different generation. They're more expressive, right. and they have their own ideas yes. where we kind of, um, I think, embraced our parents' ideas. Yeah. And and we had some on our own, on our, but mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> you didn't have, you didn't let anyone yeah. else know you yeah. had ideas. Yeah. So now it's like the covers are off, and, and these kids are expressing themselves oh, however cool. way they can express yes. it. Right. Yeah. That's and right. And it's coming yeah. out. And it's, it's coming, coming out. out. So yeah. under coming understanding out. where they're at helps us to stay connected with them. That's right. Wow. Even if it's uh, we had a group of kids that listen to scream on music, you know, when they kind of scream when they're singing. Uh, whatever songs they're singing. So I wanted to listen to it, see what the, the message is, because that's right. where they listen to the yeah. message. They may tell me they're hearing the beat, and the beat so do sound good, but the message in is also giving them something right. to that's either right, to destroy themselves or to have some sense of life. That's, that's right. You know, it changes them. Right. You know, so I agree with those words. So if you understand where they're at, you can talk to them through a lot that's of right. things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Versus yeah. shutting it down, because all they don't do it when you're not in your presence. So I'd rather have a conversation with you and let you know that uh, I like this or I don't like this and why I don't or wow. why I think it's maybe feeding you some wrong thing, information or whatever. Let me know what this song is saying to you. And some of them don't even know the words. That's but right. certain yeah. things still keep stick, stick in your head. That's right. right. That's you right. know? Right. And if, if I don't, if I push them away, they're going to probably have a behavior issue with me. That's right. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, they don't let me do yeah. what I want to do. Yeah. Because, right. Marcus, I'm even, I'm even – uh, I, I guess as I go through like the coaching stages, I get a chance to hear behind the scene a lot mm -hmm. of things That's that right. uh, some of them are dealing with. And a lot of things I keep hearing is I just want to be me. I just want to <laughs> be who I am. These okay. are 30, 40 year old yeah. people. I just yes. want to be me. I want to yes. do me. I want to do me. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that, <laughs> what that means. looks like. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. If they can explain it, it'd be great. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. does do me mean? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's like everybody has been shutting them down, mm -hmm. and I even run into 50-year-olds like they still having a struggle with, yeah. you know, who Their they identity. are yes. and, you know, people not allowing them to yes. express yeah. themselves or whatever. And I know that probably started from yeah. childhood things yeah, that is. were there. Or it's, some it's, might be in a situation where they've kind of poured into others, and they have been either um, – distrusted or, or yeah, they don't trust yeah. anymore they, so. they've been wounded and they're tired of investing time mm -hmm. into others mm -hmm. and they say i'm just gonna do take me. care of me mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah and and that's, i'm not gonna do anybody else yeah mm -hmm. and i think too probably some of that has a lot to do with they may be in a controlling environment yeah, that's be true. That. I mean, right. you, you can be in an environment where there's a controlling entity in the household mm -hmm. where, you, you know, if I do say something, I'm, you know, I'm going to be cut down. So I hold it all in, yeah. which is not good. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and it festers there. Yeah. I mean, that's when they may come up with, I just want to do me because yeah. I can't do me. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I can't. Whatever I don't have a is. voice. Don't have a voice. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you mm -hmm. can be, you know, that's you can exercise control without being controlling exactly and that and i guarantee probably that's an environment where you don't really have a voice <laughs> that's right that's right of how that's run yeah and yeah. if you see that face i guarantee it's a domineering thing going on in there mm -hmm. and that's it's true. been there for a long time mm -hmm. and, that's true and, and, yeah. and, and you know you you really don't function well in that i mean right. you, you you know like you can see a person and seemingly from the outside, maybe it looks good. It looks good. But when you get close up and you look into their eyes, mm -hmm. you see sadness. Mm -hmm. But it's portrayed like it's the perfect entity. Yeah. But it's so imperfect. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and, and, and sometimes people can only do that for so long, <laughs> play that role. That's right. But when they really, and they playing a role. Mm -hmm. So they saying, really, I'm playing this role, but I can't be me. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I'm hurting inside, yeah. deep Who within. Is me? Huh? Yeah. What is it? yeah. Well, yeah. a lot of times, let me let me say yeah. something right quick. Yeah. A lot of times, that's also when you have families that are enablers, yeah. 
you have this this guard in the family. So the family wants to portray that they have a certain image. Yes. Yeah. Right. They don't have any wrongs, especially if you're a, like a church going family. You don't want people mm -hmm. to know that your family had a drug problem or somebody got molested yeah, or something. Right. You yeah. want yeah. to yeah. make make it believe that everything is just roses and everything mm -hmm. smells good. The thing about that is that when people do get older, that's when that particular thing happens, that they, they couldn't be them as a kid because they were asked not to be. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. They conformed. Yes. Oh, that's, that's a good, that's good, Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. Marcus, what about, like, okay, like this week, we, you know, with my job, um, we get an opportunity to do outreach, you know, where we go to certain organizations in the Dallas area. And one of the ones that we... Uh, have is a program called Genesis, which is where we deal with domestic violence out there with yeah. ladies that are going into shelters. And man, when I tell you, I had such an eye opener this week uh, when we went over there. And the thing that intrigued me the most was the intake process. Uh, when they get a phone <coughs> call and they have to take that domestic call and determine whether they're going to allow this particular person in or not. And I couldn't help but to think about the children that were dragging along yes. with them yeah. in that intake process. And it's like, how much do we tell? Can we be tell honest them, about yeah. what's going on? We, we know that there's an issue because the police have been involved, involved in it. it. Right. And now you've gotten another entity involved in it. And then they're probably thinking, okay, will these people, you know, listen to what I'm saying? Are they going to judge That's me right. or, you know, things like right, that? Right. And so, Marcus, what is, what is your intake process like when you guys get a, a child or an adult in to your system? What are some of the things that you guys look for? I guess patterns of um, abuse in the family, really. A kid, if, especially if they come to the hospital, they come to me individually. I look for the same patterns of neglect or abuse that may be going on in the family. So I ask a lot of deep questions. Okay. I even had an adult male that he was struggling with um, childhood uh, sexual abuse by his brother and his mom, right? So he's 40-something years of age, and he's still struggling with uh, them. He wants them to acknowledge that what they did to him when he was a kid. And that conversation was hard because he, they may not ever do that. And you have to come to a probably understanding that you're going to have to be okay with them not being right. able to do that and move mm -hmm. forward versus living in this pain or shame that's been created by something that they did but something that you're continuing to perpetuate is continually happening. Wow. And one of the things we try to do is when we're doing this, uh, assessment on them is finding out how long this happened, who did it, are they still with the mm. families? Because I do a domestic violence class for men, men who actually batter their families through verbal, physical, psychological abuse, financial abuse, and we teach them the ways that they could stop this behavior and be right. more respectful and nurturing to their families holistically. Across right. the board, financially, we're raising the children with household chores, changing the, the core beliefs of what we thought men should, That's roles right. should be That's in the right. family. Right. And some people are stuck in that core belief, and it's <laughs> yeah. hard for them to yes. think that there should be an equality, right. you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. within the household or taking care of children right. or even workloads and things like that. Wow. Do you find that um, with the children and the families that you deal with that a lot of the abuse regardless to what area it's in, they might come from um, a background of military. The or, some. Or veteran, you know, a veteran that might have had some type of traumatic situation, you know, in their career and then spill over into the yeah. family. I, I think that does happen when you have post-traumatic stress disorder, you mean, yes. through some type yes. of traumatic yes. event. When you're in the military, that does happen a lot. And I think they feel misunderstood. I think the veteran population is a special population. And I have deal with some of them as well in this uh, facility that I work with. And they come in off the street and they're homeless and they're coming in with drug issues. And when they come in and they have this uh, military sexual trauma, you know, there's a lot of that. Uh, it's military hard for them. What, sexual trauma. They got raped in the prison, in, in, in the military. And wow. they... They've been living with this for years, okay. and it's got them uh, so stagnated or stuck in life, it's hard for them to be healthy overall wow. in healthy relationships. Yeah. So they don't know what that looks like. like. Right. You know, so they do have programs set up for the veterans to go to that's three to six months in Lent to get them to have a um, 
like a um, cleansing, if you will, and come to a realization of how to deal with this traumatic experience so they can move past it. So, you know, what you're saying um, as far as the traumatic in that area, I'm just thinking about all the children that are on the border that have been taken away from their parents. <laughs> That, that was you know, traumatizing. Was, yeah, that's, that's traumatizing. traumatizing. So we're going to have, if we don't, you know, have some help. They need the interventions. Get some help. Like right now, mm -hmm. we're going to have adults that we're going to have to eventually take care of. They're going to end up in prison because people are going to misunderstand their hurt yes. for just being defiant. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this is key across the board. Right. right. I mean, we just, we see the behavior and we label it. That's right. This is us as a society. Yeah. I broke the window, or I break in your house, I got some food or whatever, I stayed in there because it's warm because it ain't warm in my house. That's right. But you don't know that. I ain't never thought about that, Mark. You don't know that, mm -hmm. what's going on there. Right. And when we was in Athens, this kid come to school, he was late all the time, and the teacher didn't know what's going on with him, but he was sleeping outside at home because his mom was locking him out the house. They didn't know that. Right. All they know, he was late he every was morning. Late. Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm. That's all they knew until we dug into it. You know, there's a lot of things behind the behavior if we don't, and sometimes they won't talk about it because we keep this, everything in the family is in the family, right? right. Yeah. You know, yeah. but until we ask the right questions, mm -hmm. you know, I won't talk about my dad because that's my dad. Why would I put my well, dad out there so right. you can get arrested, you that's know, so right, I'm going to keep Marcus. the secret, that's right. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Marcus, you know something else I noticed when I lived here in Dallas before, you know, the, the, um, the mega cities, they have a little bit more of, of they, they got a little bit more help, but they have some unique issues that are here. Like, for instance, there were children um, that would get in trouble during a certain part of the year because <laughs> it's cold outside. Right. Oh. And when they get in trouble during that time of the year, mm -hmm. they get put in the system just oh. so they can stay warm. Oh, yeah. Wow. They've learned how to, to use to the system. Most definitely oh, so. Yeah. You know, and it's like it makes sense to me. Right. But for the people that's behind the scene that don't they understand don't that. That's they right. don't see that, Marcus. Well, they do not see you know, that. We have that same problems, I think, even with the opioid epi uh, epi epidemic. Epidemic, yeah, epidemic. most definitely. Yeah. We have people that will go and, and hurt themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, help get some them hurt them. Yeah, mm -hmm. to wow. get the drugs that they need. They'll wow. go out and damage their bodies so they can go and get wow. drugs. Yeah. I mean, it could be the same way in our youth, mm -hmm. just to manage yeah. The pain that they're going yeah. through, right. they will turn to drugs. Yeah. Well, you'd be amazed activity. that some people would rather be incarcerated in prison yep. than be they free. I mean, mm -hmm. that's reality. Of they have no responsibilities. Period. Yeah, you right. know. It fits. But they they will work in there. But when they get out here, it seems like that uh, the minimum wage right. job is not yeah. enough to take care of them. But they work for free for three years. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and the sort of mentality. When you get out, you need some type of cultivation, if you will, to yeah. retrain your thought process, yeah. right. to break the chain of the stigma that makes you believe that people that's been incarcerated cannot perform outside of, right, of an incarcerated place. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that I, takes a transition. Yeah. Right. I, I think they have conditioned their mind to yes. a lot of things. Oh, it's, sure. like, it, it's like that fight or flight. Right. Yes. I have to learn fight, how fight to or survive. Freeze. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever I'm going through. That's There's this, this young guy um, that I met. Uh, he's, he's, he couldn't be any more than about 27, 28 years old now. Mm -hmm. He's been in trouble since he was probably about 16, 17 years old. Uh, he's finally out and free in society, mm -hmm. really looked like he wanted to do well, but when he got out, he didn't have a place to stay. That's right. Right. He had family, right. Right. but the family only gave him a certain amount of time That's to right. be That's there. right. And if he didn't get it together during that time, he and died. they would tell you all the time, you got only a little while mm -hmm. to get this together. Right. So guess what's happening? His time is running out. And he's panicking. And he's panicking. <laughs> well, and you know what he's going to do? He's, he's going to get back, back in trouble so he can have a place to stay. That's right. Very and impulsive, now, yeah. This young guy, I noticed, evidently, once he went in, he must have thought this thing through a little bit more. Now he came home, he got a job in the oil field, and guess what? He can take care of himself That's now. Yeah. Yeah. The likelihood of him going back is probably very slim. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Because he's got provisions he that he's right. got here. Right. Right. Hierarchy of needs. Yeah. In That's place. exactly right. My physiological needs are being met. That's right. I can That's move right. up the scale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. made some other <laughs> stuff now. Yeah, but you most know, definitely. That's an absolute blessing for him to be out of incarceration and find a job. Yeah. yeah. Because I think uh, 
you don't get too many jobs out there when you've been in prison. Mm -hmm. But they out there though. People will hire you. That's right. Yeah. But it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to get that opportunity. I used to do job fairs for ex offenders and uh, I will find fifteen, twenty employers that will come out to a job fair and set up tables and they would they would hire ex offenders. They would. Yeah, they would give them opportunities. We did this for years. And Marcus, I think that that's a stigma that we need to get off of our community or off of our children. Stop telling them things like that. That because I think we underestimate the power of God and how parents have been praying for their children. They're already praying that God would open up these doors and make ways for them. Yeah. But it's going to be up to who that child connects to when they get home or whatever. That's the key pumping into them you mm-hmm. can do, do this it. Yeah. you right. can make yeah. it through this That's but right. unfortunately a lot of times what they run into mm-hmm. is people saying mm-hmm. you ain't gonna be nothing the again. barriers of other you people's negative thinking That's or right. the people in prison tell you yeah. what you be see back. you, you, you be back. back That's right. <laughs> I see you when you come yeah. back you gotta tell them that the, 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 the devil is not lie. <laughs> That's, That's right. right it is a lie see me when you get back we have a party when you get back we have a party when you get back you keep waiting on hold your breath that's yeah, right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So if we have any callers, if you have any questions or comments, you can call us at 214-431-5062. Wow. So we're looking for you to call in if you have anything you would like to say or any questions. Amen. And I'll say this as they're calling in, that if you have children that are going through behavioral situations you have to be patient with the change that you're looking for in That's them because right, i agree with marilyn she said earlier remember when we were kids how long did it take us to make our adjustment That's right. right. That's you right. know exactly. you know how long did it take us to make that change you know i was telling somebody else about uh being in recovery from drugs and alcohol and they said well they they've been in recovery it took them a long time to get there i said so don't rush other people to get there That's just because right. you're there now That's That's right. Right. it's right. a journey for them just like it's a journey Absolutely. for you That's yes right. Yes. So you have to give people time to turn the ship around. Yes. Right. You know, you've been on a cruise before. It takes time to turn the ship around. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It Marcus, takes time. Marco, let's kind of turn this conversation around a little bit. We're dealing with the, the children as youth, but those children grow up <laughs> to be right, adults. and become adults. <laughs> and then we marry them. Yes. You know, yes. And it's like if we don't understand their story, we we're can. reliving that childhood with all him all over again, again. That's right, you know, and, and those are things that, you know, when we don't understand what they've been through, we it, can't help them. yeah, we can't help them through different things. And then you wonder how much help are you supposed to give before <laughs> they actually stand up on their own feet? And that's male or female. Right. And I agree right. with that. Because yeah. sometimes we, we enable them again right. sure because, do. you know, it's like they're sick. They're not mm-hmm. sick. Sure. They yeah. well. That's right. You know, they're mm-hmm. trying to get well, and we're trying to bridge a gap for them to get over. Yes, that's but right. we need to know how do we, as adults, go in dealing with other adults that are still acting like kids, help them to get to that point of where they need to be without crippling them again hopefully the aspect of knowing that it exists before we marry them uh, comes to light that way we want marry someone in hopes that we're going to help them change because we're the good thing in their life that's a misconception people in my opinion do not change for other people that's yeah. right they change for themselves Absolutely. and it will benefit the people that they're in the lives of yeah so it, it takes a process of that and people are introduced with tools all the time to make this this change this interchange to to create this outer experience a lot of time the goal in my opinion you have to be consistent and one thing i try to teach people that i do even every day is i work on me every right. day yeah despite what yesterday looks like and despite what tomorrow may even may bring mm-hmm. today is my opportunity to create change and nothing I can do about yesterday but to allow it not to be a repeat. So I use it as a stepping stone That's now, right. a learning experience versus a stumbling block, something to be a barrier to me trying or putting right. forth the effort, if you That's will, right. again today. Yeah. And I think that's what people have to do on a consistency level. Yeah. It's almost like going to church. You know, uh, I go to church every week for a reason. It's not that I like to hear this certain pr- preacher preach or whatever. I go so I can get this renewance, That's if right. you will, yeah. right. this experience around other people that give me a, uh, uh, this overall overall experience of feeling the presence of God yeah, around right. other
other people who are experiencing the same thing, and I feel this excitement That's just right. be alive, and I want to talk to them all day long. Yes, cause right. We had right. church sitting. We don't need to go eat. Let me tell you one more thing. And all these things <laughs> began to happen. It's exciting. Yeah, right. So right. when people began to change, it would be just like that. Yeah. Right. You know, it would be like the Jeremiah experience. You say it was like fire. fire. Yeah. I'm just fire. saying it just began to flow because yeah. when the change happened, I mean, you just can't tell me that this zeal that God's give you to begin to express this change in your life is going to cease just because just that moment's changed but That's this right. moment is every every Free rejuvenating hearts. itself every day because <laughs> I ain't going back that right. coming out it's out. It's in it. It's, it's out. Yeah. 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 Marcus, tell, tell us about maybe experiences that you have seen um, when change has taken place with the children. Yes. When you know so. without a shadow of a doubt that they got it. Yeah. Well, one thing I do see, I think I see that they're nurturing other people. Uh, they yeah. do a lot of programs dealing with this trust-based relational therapy thing that they have, a, this touch therapy. So you're touching them on the arm or the back, and you're using soft words. You're having them look in your eyes and things like that. you using a soft approach to get them to change. When you see kids change, you'll start seeing them help other people get the yeah. thing that they have. Yeah. They begin to give it away. Yeah. Uh, my six-year-old does, and when he had his experiences last year in school, this year has been totally different because yeah. I came at a different approach with him. Mm -hmm. Right? I came because I don't want to be a therapist. But I want to be his dad. Yeah, right? right, but I had to teach him that I'm listening to you, and other people hear you too. Yeah. And just because they don't hear you right then, you have to find a way to be patient. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's be patient. It. Raise your hand, and the the, the outbursts are decreasing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because he knows we're listening. It just takes time for people to respond. That's right. And I think that's what you're gonna see out of the people or kids, if you will, once you get get to the point of them understanding that the process takes time. They won't rush the process either. That's right. Yeah, right. yeah, they'll be patient. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Good. Most definitely. That's good. Yeah. I think, you know, as parents, if we could do it again, I think some of us would probably go to class. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <some> parenting <laughs> classes. They got those, too. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Because it's, it's such an important role. I oh, mean, yeah. it's being a parent. Oh, I mean, yes, yes. and the importance of how we are impacting the lives of children. Yes. And then to see the grown ones, how they turn out. You can see as a parent, grandparent, should have done this. Should have yep, done that. Right. Hindsight. You know, hindsight. Hindsight. Right, hindsight. Yeah. And so, yeah, if we could take those classes. It's never too late to take classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We could yeah. always take well, We're classes. always learning, though. Yeah. yeah always oh, learning. Always learning. Yeah. When my yeah. kids turn teenage, I'm going to be learning something different yeah. about them because yeah. we're living in a technology age. That's right. Yeah. And they're going to have all this access to things that I have access to, but I'd have them limited access to. But when they get up, they're going to have all this freedom. Yeah. And I have to yeah. find a way to understand what they're trying to get involved with That's and be right. okay with them right. e mm -hmm. expressing themselves. Oh, yeah. the, good, you know? the good thing about seed time and harvest is that we get to see it again in the next generation. You will you see know, it. Right. What you did not get right. 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 As right. long as you're still here, God's going to give us an opportunity right. to see it again. Most definitely. And, but we ought to recognize, oh, mm -hmm. my God, I made a mess with that. And we get a chance <laughs> yes. to turn. Marcus, what Good. about, I know we just have a few more minutes left here, but what about, um, you know, th what are things that parents can do as far as, you know, um, that are, that have finally caught on that I may be a part of the factor <laughs> the problem of what's itself. taking place with it. What you say, Mark? The problem itself. The problem I mean, itself. Sell. And then, you know, really it's it's like they going through the classroom of growth together. Yeah, yes. And, yeah. you know, just letting that child know that, you know, I'm sorry for, yeah, you know, absolutely. taking you through that. that. Yeah. I think that part really, has to happen. Yeah. But they have to do their journey. Yeah, they right. still have to do They need journey. to get in some therapy or talk to someone and take a journey on what caused their initial trauma and pain themselves yeah. so they can heal from within themselves so they can find a way to reconnect with their kid yeah. yes but until they heal and find their own self-forgiveness and come to a part of exonerating themselves from feeling guilty or feeling yeah. responsible yes. for things right. they cannot right. change right. the cycle won't break yeah. that's right they have to do their own journey yes yeah. and that's what parents probably don't really get because they're adults and they think that they're grown which is probably true but just because i'm grown or adult does not mean i have the solutions to help me to get through this pain yeah ignoring exactly. it is not going to allow it to go away that's right not right. when it's causing me to react with behaviors yes. that push people away that's right 
You know? Right. Yeah. And then sometimes parents have got to get so much guilt and shame yes. on them yes. that yes. The stuff literally they have to heal from it. Grave, you, right. know? Oh, yeah. you have oh, yeah. to heal. I've seen that happen a lot oh, too. Yeah. And then that child remind you every day that yeah. you're the problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know? yes. So, yeah, we don't want that. We want healthy families. That's right. healthy you know, family. my kid can communicate with me despite where they're at. Uh, I'm good with that. You yeah. know, but if they cannot communicate with me, yeah. that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Right, right. You right. know, they problem. want to move away with me and never come back. That's a problem. Yeah, that's a big but they want to move away and come back every week. I yeah. mean, I want that, you right. know. Right. I yeah. mean, I want my kids to have an attraction to me, not a distraction. Yeah. Not to you stay know? away. That's yeah. Right. That's, kind of, that's kind of what I was saying last week. If you walk through the door and everybody runs, we got a problem. We got a problem. Right. Away from you, not to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. We got a problem. Yeah, that big elephant is sitting in the middle of right. you know, right. yeah. And people say, what happened? What, uh, um, you don't see it. You didn't see you came in? <laughs> you came in. <laughs> I ain't do nothing. Out. Then the attitude come out. Yes, it does. Yeah. When we really yeah. need to take an evaluation. So if a person tells you something about yourself that you don't see, one of the things you should do without rebuttaling to them is mm-hmm. just say, you know what, I'm going to take a look at that. That's, That's right. Yeah. I'm going to take, yeah. take a look at that. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Because I didn't see that. I'll take a look at that. Yeah. 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 But I think, you know, what you're saying, that takes ominous. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take that. Looking past yourself. Some self-awareness and ominous. And that's And like you were saying, making you better every day. That's right. When you do that, you say, wow, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming. That's right. It's about becoming. It's not perfection, That's right. but progression. Yeah. Right. That's right. Becoming a better And don't let other people de- determine your self-worth. No. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Because people right. hold you down when time, five years in past, they keep bringing up this stuff that happened. Don't let other people determine your journey, your outcome, or your destiny, because God has prepared that place. That's right. That's right. Not them. That's right. That's right. They're going to tell you when you've been restored. When did that happen in the Bible? That's right. I'm sorry. God restores you, not people. That's right. Don't right. do that. Well, That's guys, great. we're going to take a break just a little bit. We're going to have a few commercials taking place, but we want to say thank you to Mr. Marcus thank for you, coming in. And, and y'all, we could probably talk Thanks for having us. All day long. Yes. yes. Just you might need your own right. show, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Put it in the book. Yeah. <laughs> But, y'all, we will have an open call. Ms. Faith has already announced that yes. you guys can call in at any time if you have questions or whatever in between our show time. But we definitely want to say thank you to Mr. Marcus for joining in. Thanks for having us. Thank yeah. you. Guys, we want to tell you guys to hang on in there. We're hang gonna ta- on. We're going to bring in Miss Regina in just a few minutes. We're going to take a break. Take a minute. <laughs> break for and the then we're going to bring Mrs. Regina on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, Marcus. All right. Hey, this is Aaliyah. The wait is over.
Game Room in the Blue Stream at Fish Bowl <laughs> Radio Network. And to reach us, you can log on to your internet at www.fbrn.us and find us in the Blue Stream. We're there. We're live <laughs> and we're rolling. And if you would like to call us and, and if you have a question or if you have a concern or if you have just want to reach out and say hey i'm I, i'm with you guys i am i'm enjoying the show please feel free to give us a call at area code 214-431-5062 so we have our second guest on today and we have regenia crane here in the house yes Accepting our invitation, oh, yes, 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 yes. Miss Regenia, and so Regenia is passionate about the youth. She's always been passionate about the youth, and she's even more passionate in her everyday life as far as a professional and also spiritually. So, so Miss Regenia, will you please introduce yourself? Yes. <laughs> okay. First of all, thank you for the opportunity to share my passion with you all here at the. Uh, uh, it's a family affair, but I am Regenia Crane. I am a native from Fort Worth. Been here all my life. Uh, married 34 years to Pastor Jack Crane of the True Vine Missionary Baptist Church called the Vine. The <laughs> Vine. Amen. The Vine. And so I am what I call myself a transformational leader. Uh -oh. And so oftentimes God always assigned me to go in and do some transformation yes. and some knocking down and some building up and some planting. So yeah. I am currently the principal of the uh, Phoenix Academy, which was uh, previously named the Mansfield Alternative Educational Center. Okay. But since we are not a label, I went on a journey to get the name change, rising from the ashes, the Phoenix Academy. Wow. And so I actually have two programs in my building, one being one for um, what they call a DAEP. So when kids get in trouble and they make bad choices. Yeah. And then they are sent to me for a certain number of days. That's one half of my program. The, uh, the other part of my program is a program that I really have the passion for, which is those kids that, for whatever reason, uh, are deciding to drop out of school. Yes. And so I call them the diamonds in the rough. That's yes. right. Because yeah. what I realize they have pop, which is po the potential, the power of potential. That's right. And All so right. I get I like to, that. I get the opportunity and the privilege to, to be able to speak into their lives. That's so right. at my school, I tagline is the Phoenix Academy where we're transforming lives Great. and so um, every day I get to make a difference in life which I think is a call for the believer anyway that's right uh, that dash between your birth year and the year that you are called home to Jesus what are you doing yes, with it and right. so every that's day true. we are that kids count every day yes every day. and so we're not counting the number of kids right. We're making sure the kids can count on us. That's right. That's right. And Amen. so um, that's just a little bit about me. And uh, just love faith. No, I love uh, dealing with kids. I do a lot of uh, even just moving from kids to adult. Hood. Okay. And uh, because I see if we don't build them up in the youth, then we they become adult yes. projects. Right. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah. adult projects. And I think that um, Regina and I, we... We grew up together since 14 years of age. We've been friends. And so we've always cared about our our people. You know? yeah. <laughs> we've always been people, pers uh, people, people, or people, persons. And we will always touch others outside of our community. I'm, I'm, Regina was on the south side. I was on the southwest side. But we, we knew everybody in Fort Worth <laughs> during our high school years. We would, <laughs> we would reach out. But I think that that's what God put in us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, we, and, and for, I can say this for myself. I wasn't at a spiritual point where I really had that relationship with God that I have now. But we knew there was a God, mm -hmm. and he was very important important in our lives Absolutely. we were always out at somebody's church yeah. on sundays you know at, even yes. after our, <laughs> our normal services we were out there yeah. but that's what's important you know we keep that life and we keep that youth you know youthfulness in us yeah. so you can touch the kids at our age, sure. right? Absolutely. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I think about that transformational part of mm -hmm. it. It's a lot of steps to transforming mm -hmm. a life yeah. of yeah. a mm -hmm. child because yeah. it's, I think one of it is just, you know, 
having that relational piece to where yes. you understand yes. what's going on with them. Right. It's hard to touch the life of anybody that you don't understand. That's mm-hmm. right. You know, and sure. I think sometimes a lot of the things that the Lord has allowed us to go through in life, it was like you had to touch the infirmity of whatever that was. That's right. And yes. You know how it is. Sometimes we think, oh, my God, why did I have to go through that in life? <laughs> mm-hmm. But it was for something but, later yeah. on in That's life. Right. Absolutely. Right. You know, and then to know that we can give back in such a way mm-hmm. to transform mm-hmm. another person's Absolutely. life. Absolutely. Yeah. And you, you know, them. even in the uh, educational realm, I always um, tell my teachers, you can't teach content without connecting first. That's right. Oh, yeah. And so yeah. it doesn't matter what the concept is, if it's addition or subtraction or vocabulary or whatever, if they are hungry or if they've got some yes, issues coming in. Right. Our kids come in, you know, the parents send the best kids that they have every day. That's mm. right. That's the best that they send. And whatever that might look like. Yeah. You right. know, there may be the two parent kid. There may be the kid where the parent is a single parent working or the kid that just got hit upside the head or the parent just got wow. put in. So every day I am dealing with all okay. kinds of situations. And so, um, you know, I wanted to kind of just start off in Psalms 127, if you don't mind. Okay. okay. Where it says, verse 3, it says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. Yeah, the fruit absolutely. of the womb is a reward. So children are special to the Lord. Yes. And so when we're talking about parents, we're talking about even in Deuteronomy. I love that in Deuteronomy 6. Because actually, God, the responsibility of first, when a, when a child comes into this world, I mean, it's almost like a blank whiteboard. There's yeah. nothing, nothing on there. there. The right. first imprint is the parent. That's That's right. Right. Even if that parent gives up that child. That's That's right. still the first imprint. imprint. Mm-hmm. Is the parent. That's right. Yeah. And God charges us yes. in Deuteronomy. Uh, number one, one of the things about the children is that the one reason why we, we need to take that responsibility because we're building legacy. That's right. 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 You know? Exactly. And so, you know, even in Deuteronomy 6, it says that the Lord, that you may fear the Lord your God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, mm-hmm. right. which I commend you you and your son and your grandson yes. see that's yeah. legacy, legacy. That's and right. see we as a people if we don't think of legacy yeah. yes we as a race we 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 just think it's just us it's just what we're doing right now, right now. in the present right. Yeah. right and so that's we've got to start that. thinking Legacy, Legacy. and right. then it tells us that we need to teach our children diligence. Yes. Teach them, talk yes. to them when you sit in the house, yeah. when you walk yes. by the way, when you lie That's down, and when you rise up. Yes. The problem is, is that we're not at home to talk to them. That's yeah. Right. yeah, you know, right. because we're busy. I was just reading an article where we're so busy going out, you know, making sure that our kids have, you know, these top-notch mm-hmm. shoes. shoes. That I, yes, what I say, the feet that's not going anywhere. That's right. Mm-hmm. right. You know, <laughs> hair in your head. You don't have anything inside your head. Ooh. You know? Yes. And so so we do all those kinds of things thinking we're being a good parent. And yeah. I get that. Right. right. But the kids that I deal with on a day-to-day basis, and we can't say that they are the at-risk kids. I always mm-hmm. say they're at risk of what? Becoming who and what? In society, they're at risk of becoming a president. They're at risk of becoming right. an attorney. Right. They're at, at risk. risk. So, That's so right. when you talk about at risk, I don't look at it in a negative no. um, uh, it connotation. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, listen. You know, I've worked in a couple of schools in Mansfield and. And so um, it's funny how, you know, we get all excited and, and I listen to conversation <laughs> with parents. We love to say our kids are in an AP class. And oh, they yeah. the, you oh, know, yeah. we, we make it and my kid is so brilliant and my kid. Wow. But what I'm finding out is that even the valedictorian don't know how to do life. Wow. Ooh, because yeah. we have been concerned with the GPA, the grade point average. average. Life and God no has called me skills. to be concerned with the grade point, with, with the GPA, which stands for great potential awaiting. That's right. Because yeah. we've got to teach our yes. kids about life yes. which yes. means that's that right. it takes time and sacrifice that's and right. I promise you kids don't get upset when they don't get that they may act like yeah. you know because you didn't get that latest right. pair of Nike right. but if dad or mom is at the basketball game oh, yeah. that's, yeah. What yeah. Really yes. that's, that's what they'll remember you know that's what they'll remember you know you know what Miss Regina yes, one of the things I think about is sometimes we're expecting the parents to give something that they don't have exactly right. you know and so and what it, they're yeah. doing is they're, yes. they're they're putting they're putting the, what you said you sent your best child uh-huh. to school. that's it <laughs> right. Right. and the best parent right. came too yes. 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 you know so yes. a lot of times we have to even stop to educate the parents that bring balance with their home they don't right. just need you to be a provider right. yes. they need you to be you know you need to fill them with that yeah. love, love that they yes. need yes. teach them some social right. skills yes. as well yes. teach yes. them how to get away from those games 
teens at home and go outside and play rock and how to communicate. Yeah. 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 communicate yeah. And, and, and you know what I'm finding out? It's almost it's it's almost kind of disheartening. But parents are afraid to be parents. Yeah. Like yeah. like I don't fear nothing. I fear I don't yeah. know about y'all, right. but, <laughs> but but I'm I'm like we we don't want to look at their cell phone. No. It's their privacy. Yeah. Sure, we don't want to open the door. <laughs> right. I, I'm, I'm telling you what. I'm room. telling you what I yeah. hear parents say. Yeah. Well, what? you know that's their privacy. No. Now you paying for it right and so you don't want to check things out i had a young man that actually uh, graduated from my school he said miss crane he said our kids learn he said kids learn so much from social media yeah. because parents are not paying attention wow mm-hmm. now this is a kid saying yeah, that saying. Right? he said and i'm not looking for my parent to be my best friend oh, i don't God. need my parent to be my best friend no. i need my parent parents to be, to be my, my parent, parents. Parents. That's right. yeah. you know yeah. mm-hmm. and so even with parents we are we you're exactly right that we're expecting something from that some a lot of Time that they don't have yeah. and sometimes just don't even know how to give yeah, because right. again if it's transferred my mama didn't do it mm-hmm. my daddy didn't mm-hmm. do it mm-hmm. and it, you know i say that in marriage yeah oftentimes women expect things from a husband if he's never seen a healthy marriage that's, that's right and so that's then right. you wonder he why do he doesn't do that yeah because he's never seen it, it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah so to expect something you've never seen you'll be disappointing yeah, yeah. 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 Disappointing. every time Ms. Regina, yes. one of the things i used to teach you know in the church i, I don't believe in everybody have to be in the same church right. you need to find out what your family needs yeah because right. a lot of times what i saw was parents was getting what they needed but the kids and the weren't. kids wasn't getting what they needed that's right and so we're getting all filled up but little johnny and them over there crawling up under the benches and doing all that kind of stuff because they're not being fed to what they need that's right. and i think families need to think about when you're getting in a local church, trying to find a local church, you, know you need to is. find one that feeds the entire family. Your husband, if your husband yes. is needing those skills or, right. or whatever, mm-hmm. you need to go look for. Go t- do your homework a little yes. bit more. Don't That's just right. stop at the first yes. place right. that you get to because later on, one may be satisfied, right. but the whole family right. is going to yes. be off that's balance. Right. And right. that's where that compromise with the family has to come yes. in. All right, asking the children, what did you guys get out of your, you know, out of your study? Yeah, yeah, All make of it, those kinds of make things. Make it right. at the table. That's make right. it at the table. But, you know, I've right. never seen um, so much now as I do that kids don't even go to church. Yeah. And exactly. then the parents give them an option. Yeah. 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 Or they go to two different churches. Now, that can be a yeah, danger. Yeah, that too. Because mm-hmm. everybody, you eat from different tables. That's that we right. all coming together. Right. That's right. Are we wondering, right. you know, yeah. and, and I'm What's saying wrong? kids that because I'm not saying adult kids. I'm talking about children, children, children. children. Right. you ones. go to this church because, as yeah. you said, yeah. they're getting their needs. Yes. You know, I um, uh, faith knows that I'm, you know, I'm not afraid to just go in and yeah. just ask and hold mm-hmm. accountability. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody I, I was talking to a young lady and I was like, OK, so now tell me what you're doing. Yes. OK, because your son had gotten connected because you were needing that support. Right. right. So what I hear, everything is about you. Right. So tell me about the son. Yes. You yes. Know, yes. Perhaps right. that's why. Well, he, they don't say you know, nothing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so uh, <laughs> you your son is getting connected. And because you hadn't dealt with your issues, now you you pulling them away. Yes. You know, and so our young people just, you know, they need to see the love of Christ. In, yeah. And I believe yes, in even in, in the school, you know, I call yes. it marketplace ministry. Right. You know, um, I just spoke recently at uh, Baptist uh, College and I was saying that so often that we want to go to the Christian college and, you know, and, you know, I go to this particular university college and it's great and I want to work in a church. All that's great. Mm-hmm. But if we are to be a light in a dark place, that's right. And we're and you we ought to be the salt of the earth, but we right. want to stay in the salt shaker, right. that's the right. safe place. That's you right. gotta get out of then, it. Yeah, you got to get out of oh, it. Yes. You know, you've got to be in a place where you can bring that's light. Right. That's, that's right. right. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. And, and, yes. And that in itself is not safety. Mm-mm. Nothing no. changes in safety because right. it's a comfort zone. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And and nothing in a comfort zone changes because mm-hmm. it's comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I say, you know, familiarity breeds. Contempt. Mm-hmm. Right. You got to get out. Yes. Gotta get and out. push it out. Yes. Push it yes. out. Take it in. Push it out. Yes. Wherever you go. Yes. We're supposed yes. to be the hand and feet yeah. of Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we really want to bring right. value to people. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's like you want to bring value to mm-hmm. people and not just you take away or you are the one where the spotlight is on. You want to yes. give out. That's right. And you right. want to duplicate yourself. Yes. yes. When you have the light. You want that light to go beyond just yes. you. Oh, yes. You want it to be illuminated. Yes. yes. And so it's very important. Mm-hmm. Did I hear a call? 
thought I heard a phone call. You know, okay. you know when, you, when you talk about bringing value, I thought each one of us today ought to leave better than when we came in Absolutely. today. That's right. true. I've added to you. You've added to yes. me. That's, That's right. adding value. value. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, w I was, uh, my sister and I, um, well, my sisters, we, we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. And we always go back and kind of think, talk about our week and all yeah. those kind of things. So my older sister and I, we were talking today about, you know, sometimes the value that we place on communicating with other people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. hearing what other people have That's to say, thing. different things like that. And uh, whereas, you know, maybe as kids, because in our family, we got, I always call it two sets of, of, of children. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom and dad had one set, four kids, right. and then they had like a 10-year break. And I don't know why they started <laughs> all over again and had three more kids. And it's like we think She's like saying, night and day. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And by my sister being the oldest and me being the baby, sometimes I'm like, I don't understand nothing she's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And she's looking at me like, what is this girl talking, talking about? about? Right. It's like we're coming from a strange environment. So now we're having to go back and, and refresh everybody on right. what our childhood was like and how we communicate with a lot mm -hmm. and find nothing wrong with yeah. it. Right. And I think sometimes families may be a little afraid to balance those things yeah. Yeah. because we yeah. come from, I mean, yeah. let's just two admit it. Worlds. We're yeah, just different. two different worlds yeah. here. Right. You know, and, right. and it's okay. And the children, yeah. Growing up these days, they act like aliens sometimes, yeah. and we're trying to figure out where where, where y'all get everybody. that from, right. or they, where they do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But yeah. we have to come in and blend in to stop and think. Okay, so it's a new facet or a new fade mm -hmm. that's in. But how do we keep the balance with it as right. well? I believe the old and the new yeah. have yeah. something yeah. in common yeah. with right. each other to bring right. balance. I yeah. call it the basic black suit. There is something like like you can never go wrong with a yeah. black okay. suit. Yeah. You no. can add a tie, yeah. you can add a bow tie, you can add all those mm -hmm. things. And I think those basic, even the yes ma'am, yes that's sir, right. thank you, yeah. all of those just basic social skills, yeah. they will never go never out of style. That's right. style. Never go out no, of style. Right. Yeah. But we are not teaching our kids that. So on nope. my campus, <laughs> even in my um, my where my kids are, have gotten in trouble, we teach those social that's skills. Good. That's right. You know, and we talk about those things yeah. because yes. I've I've when I watch kids interact with their parents, I mean I've had literally had kids cussing their parent oh, out yeah. coming in the door. Yeah. Like in the door. Yes. Like this language so, in the house. Oh yes. And that's like that's the that's language. That's a commonality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a common yes. language. Huh? And so I think that right wow. now in education you know, it is important that we get teachers that really that's your calling. It's that's not right. a career. That's that's right. a, calling. a career that's you right. can change. Yeah, that's yeah. right. A call, calling you commit to. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. and so it's so important because for me as a as a leader um, in my on my campus, I spend a lot of time in the hallways, in the classroom, mm -hmm. talking to the kids, that's figuring right. it out. Right. And what I don't understand, I listen. Yeah. I don't even talk to my kids behind a desk. Right. I have a table that I'm talking because I want to understand. Right. But also I want to understand without them to understand without compromise yeah you know because these are the parameters that you're going to have to live in yes, that's right. the laws right, are not right, changing right, 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 right. Not. i hear what you're saying right i hear you saying something that's fair. Right. Right. i hear all of that but here's what it really that's is what that's, right. that's right. let you get it out yeah but i need you to think about and process right. what you're thinking through and see if it's yeah. going to get you what you want that's yeah. right. so a lot of our kids because of social media because of google and all of that it takes away the critical thinking part they don't even think they just google it Ooh, yeah. that's right. the truth right, right. That's right. They just google yeah. it. It's a google yeah. Yeah. yes yes yeah. Yeah, it is. and so when it comes to yeah. critical thinking and processing out things more there's more depression on college level kids because they have not learned how to just deal with life that's right mm -hmm. You that know, so yeah. they don't, did they either, uh, do the research papers like we did, and we had to put the footnote cards? And yeah, they do the new. Yeah, but, but like is, is it all they electronic? All is it yeah, all yeah, electronic? Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, yeah, we had to figure it out. Yeah, we had to figure it out. Yes. Yes. See, we <laughs> on that click MLA format. Yes, yes. 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 And go See, to the library. It's all made easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all yes. made easy yes. for them. Yes. All made easy. Yes. Yes. That's ridiculous. Yes, yes. But but I hear what you're saying. You know, you learn that, first of all, principles never change. Mm -mm. They're yeah, laws. They don't. Yes. Yeah. Then there's man laws, then there's God laws. Yes. Yeah. But if you teach these things and they get it in them, mm -hmm. then we are on the upswing. Mm -hmm. we, we're bringing 
better young men, better young ladies. Right. They start to value themselves. They start to love themselves. Mm -hmm. and, and quite frankly, they can say they love you. But if they don't have a self-worth, a self-love, they can't, they're the same words. Mm -hmm. yeah. They got to know they value. Yes. That's and, right. Yes. And we have to teach that. Yes. Yeah. So you're building it. That's that foundation. Yes. Yeah. You know, because if you don't have that foundation, yeah. there's nothing. I just was sharing with the young lady. I said, you know, if you take a, a, and she had been through a very traumatic experience. And one of the things I was sharing her, part of taking control of your life, taking back, is to get your education. Yes. Because yeah. it give you access. Because you're wanting to do some things. But mm -hmm. if you're not socially or emotionally stable, That's right. it's going to be very tough for That's you. Right. Yeah. I said, so it's almost like, and I said, you've not lost your value because of what you've gone through. That's I said, right. like having a $100 bill. You tear it in half and tape it up, or you spit on it, you throw it on the ground. By the time you get to the cashier, it's still worth $100. That's right, right. 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 Yes. Yes. Still $100. Right. Still going to spend. Still going to spend. Right. Still gonna spend. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think what you're saying, sometimes they focus on their limitations mm -hmm. rather than focus on their potential. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't let yes. the limitations yes. limit you. Yeah. Yes. Right. Let's, let's get exactly. you to think about these potentials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like what we talk about, Meryl. Yeah. Like, yeah. Young people smile at the future. Just smile back at That's you. Right. Yes. That's right. Get them to thinking. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. this is what I've been through. This mm -hmm. is not who I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is where mm -hmm. we can go. I need mm -hmm. you up fly. That's right. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I have to kill some of these things over here to get yeah. you going you know, in this direction. And you know what, Joe, that takes us back to what Marcus was saying earlier about a lot of times you almost have to uh, kind of get them out of the environment of whatever has been yes. reinforced in yes. their life. That's yes. Right. That's you know, right. because even transformation, like when I mm -hmm. do my coaching, sometimes, man, we can go over a subject with mm -hmm. them one month. Right. And the next month, they don't forget right. it. That's right. right. Because that's not what's being reinforced around right. them. Oh, no. And no matter how much we keep exactly. coming into their presence, it's if good. they don't eventually get that thing repeated mm -hmm. over exactly. and over oh, and yeah. over, or take some initiative themselves mm -hmm. to repeat those words back yes. to themselves, they're going to keep falling back to whatever they are praying to more than that's anything. Right. That's, that's a cycle. cycle. The mindset has to yeah. change. Yeah, the mindset, mindset change. doesn't change. It's not going to change. That's exactly yeah. right. Because yeah. what, what I I notice a lot of times, and, and this was in the school school system too. A lot of times, the children will get excited about, "Oh my God, I like my teacher I got this year," and then they go home and and dad is go sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, it's like they it. can't even explain, it, and no. they're excited about That's something, right. yes. but the family got other things going on, and they can't get excited about what Absolutely. you're excited about. Yeah. So, what is the child gonna do? They're gonna lose interest in it mm -hmm. because they really want the people that are important to them. Mm -hmm to feel, yes. you know, feel yeah. what they're, they're feeling. feeling. Yeah. But that other person is like, they don't have time for that. So it's like the child is thinking, well, we don't have time for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so what that person is saying, even though I like you, mm -hmm. but that ain't what mom and dad and them talking about at home. Mm -hmm. wow. And it's amazing how wow. yes. people don't change yes. because of the environment that wow. they're around. Yes. And you know, but the, you know, the, the, on the flip side of that is that I see so oftentimes one teacher can change your life. Can a child's change life. Yes, that's can. Right. Yeah. You know, there um, is a young lady that um, um, that received a scholarship from an organization I'm part of, and she's going to Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. She had no support. She's yeah. doing all this on her own. Wow. So guess what we have to do? Become the village. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. You know, we always just say it takes a village to raise a child. Right. Right. The problem that, and I agree with that. Here's what has happened. The village is sick now. That's right. Because the gatekeepers are no longer there. That's, That's right. Exactly and the right. first That's gatekeeper right. are, ought to be the parents. Yes, it is. But That's if right. the gatekeepers are letting everybody in mm -hmm. and everybody say what they want to say, That's right. you know, you have to intentionally and purposefully place those people in your lives. In my son's uh, life, I purposely put certain people in his life because if he didn't feel comfortable talking to he and my dad, he I had some somebody. people that are in his life that yeah. I trusted sure, absolutely. with giving the truth. That's right. Right, you know? right. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You had, yeah. the truth. You had confidence. Are they earn your confidence yes. for you to place your son with mm -hmm. you? Exactly. But you, they will try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and you should. Yes. yes. That makes sense. It's important to have those that we have, I guess, validated to mm -hmm. put in our children's mm -hmm. lives. Oh, yes. You know, and we know what their foundation has been built on. So in turn, 
they will also reinforce the foundation that we've given to our children. Yeah. So exactly. it's important the ones that we show who we are supposed oh, yeah. to be. Because when they get dis you know, discouraged, they can always go to someone else. It's not always right. the not parent. always us. It's That's not right. always yeah. us. So the parent that sent the kid up to say, right. Whatever you need, just come to your mom and daddy. Right. You send the kid up because right. see you right. may not always be there. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Then what do they do? Don't go asking right. other people you know, for stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. They don't know so, how to you know, you, you teach them how to trust and, you know, and those yeah. kinds of things. But to set, I think you set a kid up for failure mm -hmm. when you say, you know, this is your mom and dad and, and we're the only ones here. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah. Because yeah. what your kid needs, whether it's a scholarship, it may be somebody else. That's, that's right. Right. So you want right. to shut it down yeah. because you're the only one? Right. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. something to think about Miss Regina oh, yeah. because I think we don't understand how much the power of words yes. um, you know go out because the children really are we don't think they're listening but they are listening to oh, things yes, that you're yeah. saying and then we go out and we're wondering why they're not developing the social skills right. that they right. need because a lot of times we have isolated them from everybody by sharing those kinds of words mm -hmm. that, you know, y'all come to me for whatever right. you need exactly. or whatever, and not allowing, you know, that real village to come in. Even the church, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> when we give our children an option as to whether they go to church yes. or not, yes. or whether they get involved in some type, yeah, participate in mm -hmm. church activities, we rob them from social yes, skills. Right. 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 Exactly. We really do, yes, right. you, do. you know, right. even if we don't like whatever it is you, you still have to teach them about the social value of it all you may not agree with everything everybody no, is doing no. right. and i think the show that we're talking about with you is parent involvement Probably. and how when we don't see things going the direction we want to or whatever you know sometimes we got to get involved yes. in showing yes. up at the school yes. and yes. you know maybe going on the field trip so yes. showing up yep. in yes. the classroom yes. at the church and right. you know getting involved because a lot of times the teachers are uh, they're 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 burn out themselves yes. oh, they yeah. don't know what to do with yes. those kinds of kids right right there uh, right. you know so right. it, i think it's a lot that we can do to get involved yeah. oh yeah. Well. yeah oh yeah yeah because the involvement is real heavy of course little johnny is all cute <laughs> you want to go to all eight plays and all of that so by the time they get to middle school seventh and eighth grade it dwindles down and then high school then high school it definitely unless they're athletic yes then yeah. you're gonna see that right yes and so, yes, the parental involvement is so, so important yes, for our parents to get involved and get in our kids' yeah. life. Yeah. And they are not, and they're not going to like everything we say, yeah. but, you know, I, I tell kids, we didn't get this old being a fool. Sure. No, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> yes. You know, it's some stuff that we had yes, to learn, some through, mistakes, right? and yes. so yes. there's some things, and I recognize things are different, but the enemy is not different. That's, that's right. right. It's still yeah. the same enemy. He's still trying to kill, still and destroy. Yeah. You, you right. still got the same battle. Right. It just right. looks different. It yes, looks yes. Different. it looks different. Exactly. Yes. Well, well, Virginia, I, talk I, about uh, um, the program that you all have at the church um, on Saturdays, mm -hmm. how you get the involvement from the community with the children. Okay, so we have our children's program. I, You know, I have to be honest because, you know, I was in youth ministry for years, and so I just kind of <laughs> shifted, and I'm just like, okay, what do y'all need me to do kind of thing. Yeah. But our youth minister and his wife, uh, Michael Hall and Monica Hall, are just tremendous. As a matter of fact, Monica's getting ready to do a conference, I Was Once You. It has an awesome testimony oh, about yeah. how you can just go through things, and you still don't have to come out looking like your situation smelling like your situation and and all of those things but we try to get them out as parents you know right. and i would tell you and it's probably like the struggle with many other parents you know it depends on if the cousin got a birthday party if they show up for the you know we still do that yeah. well you know they got a birthday party okay so, right. so you know the kid is 10 the birthday party is for a two-year-old like I like I don't get it. Right. I, I'm, I said I must That's be missing that, right? Uh, right. So right. something wrong with that picture, <laughs> you know? Or, or we can't get them there, but we get them to every Where athletic right. sports event. That's right. If even if it's on Sunday, right. we gonna make sure that yes, they're that's, there. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, that's because true. really a lot of times when I hear that, it's really um, 
in some ways, it's really about the parent. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it makes me look like I'm a great parent. Because right. I'm taking my kid to all these tournaments. Mm -hmm. My kid is in this class. And yeah. my kid does it. You know, it's almost, for me, it's almost just kind of <laughs> just makes me sick. You yeah. know, it really yeah. does. Yeah. I'm like, it's really not about your kid. No, it's, it's really about, about you. Really so about you can you. brag with your family. Right. That's right. You can right. brag on right. your, your friends. Yeah, your friend. Right? Yeah. 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 And, and, and one thing, too, I believe this. If myself as a parent value certain things the kids are going to value they what do. I yes. value yes. they're going to value what I value yeah. if they see you doing certain things and that's valuable to you oh mom and dad doing this I, it's right. got to be valuable to me too yes. and right. they will do it Yes, it's like you reading a book but you go tell them go watch television right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. but if you reading a book and they come read a book the television is all. That's right. right. So we all moving in a good direction. direction. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And learn that television yeah. is not where it's at. But right. again, my thing is the example. The example in front of them. Yeah. They cannot miss that. Right. Yeah. You got to they can't miss you. Yeah. So what are you doing? That's right. That's right. important. What, what direction are you, doing? are you driving? Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's right. And you, and the thing about how they're gonna be better unless you better. That's right. Because exactly. you, you there. I you would miss you. tell you when I did youth ministry. It was so funny because if you want to know what went on in the household, you just wait till Wednesday night yes, or no, they Sunday tell it all. because you know it was really <laughs> hard. You're you're you know you're teaching the word of God, and they're saying, yeah, but my mom and daddy, yeah, yeah they they do that at church. When we get home, that's not oh matching. Gosh. Like, like yeah. they they put you on front street, they, oh. and I don't yes, think parents do. really realize that is that you can talk about. Yeah. You know, it's like their parent that uh. that when I call and leave a message, they have this Holy Ghost feel message and thank you, leave a message, praise the <laughs> Lord, have a great <laughs> day in the name of Jesus, and all that. That's and right. then I call the you, and then you cuss me out, that's and then right. say, but you just gonna have to pray for my child. Really? really? Okay, now yes, tell me what part happened? of that. Yeah. 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 What yeah. happened? Oh, what happened? That's all show. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, we had this little kid. I'll never forget Head Start. You know, mm -hmm. you get on a playground, they tell you everything. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> they want to get up on that slide. Yeah. Yes. sit up there with you. Yes. And, hey, Miss Betty, they tell me about that. One little boy, I'll never forget. He came in, told us his dad came and stole that TV. Took that TV and he walked down the street with that TV. Yeah. And I'm thinking, did this what? child just tell yeah. me that? But yeah. they had to tell him to yeah. somebody. Somebody. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah they were Watch TV that night. Yeah, they listen to the show, right? And they had to tell you what was wrong. I missed my show last night. And, you, you know? and then yes. you get those parents, Maryland, that yeah. the kid says, I'm bar hood. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. We had this one little boy I'll never forget. He come, I remember he come in, he mad every day he yeah. comes in. You know, first of all, he they they brought him to school late. He'll miss breakfast. You know, oh, they brought him to breakfast at all. So this particular day, this little boy comes in, and I'll have to watch him as they're right, coming right. in. Mm -hmm. And this little day, they got this hood on this baby, and it ain't cold outside now. They got a hood, so a red flag is always oh. right. Yeah. Right. I'm taking this coat off. He got a little slap on the side of his Ooh. face right. over here. Oh my God. And what I did not In like France. was what? they called the parent first. Then I'll call CPS. They call parent first. Right. I oh never Lord. understood right. why right. they do that. And then you trying to figure out why little Johnny's acting a nut all yes. day at right. school. We just got to see the visible part of what was yes. going right. on. Right. That, that right. probably had been going on for oh, a while. Yes. For a while. Yes. But yes. the children were yes. very, they were yes. very eager, especially if they know that you're going to listen to them. That's right. yeah. yeah, that's all they were looking right. for, somebody right. to come and you know, mm -hmm. tell yes. those things right. to. Yeah. You, you know, know, there's always a reason, psychology and counseling will tell you this, for anybody's behavior. That's right. Yeah, like, always. we don't just wake up saying, I'm going to be mad. That's no, that's right. 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 I'm right. going to be angry the rest of that's my life. Exactly right. There are some things that transpire yes, that right. causes yeah. that. Right. And even, you know, with our kids, there are some things that they they don't just wake up saying, I'm going to be bad, I'm going to make bad that's choices. Right. That's right. Well, last night, Mama cussed me out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daddy lost his job. We didn't have any food. I that's mean, right. these are real things that's that's right. that oh, happen yeah. in our kids' lives. Yeah. Right. And we expect for them to respond in an adult situation like the adult. Wow. Yeah. 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 And that's they right. just simply don't have the tools yeah. to be able to respond yeah, in a manner. You know, we're barely responding that's the way right. we're supposed that's to. Right. But now you yeah, want the kid right. to respond. Right. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. they ought to know better. They ought to. Not if their mom and daddy that's don't right. know better. Right. They're not going to know They're better. Yeah. You know. So it took me a minute to really just kind of get through that. I hadn't sure. always been that way, but but now I'm 
I'm looking for the reason behind That's right. that. That's right. Wow. I'm working you know. with a kid right now. He has a problem with male authority. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and it is what it is. I mean, you can, as a male, just beat him down. I mean, he has an issue with that. Wow. You know, and there's a reason behind it. It's a root yes. issue. Yes. Yes. yes, there's a root cause. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, and, and whether uh, people want to realize it or not, no, school is not like it used to be. You don't mm-hmm. tell a kid, go in there, sit no. down, take your pe- paper mm-hmm. out, blah, blah, blah. No, no. now we're into emotional, social uh, learning, so and we're also into moving from discipline into restorative practices. Yeah. So we're trying to restore the prep because sometimes kids don't even know what they did right. until you bring it to their attention and let them see who was hurt. Mm-hmm. How did it get that way? How can we make it right? That's right. Because they remember a conversation more than they remember the discipline. And so when we have schools or teachers that, you know, that always want to just suspend them and That's all right. that, that does not change the behavior. Yeah, no. That's right. It does That's not right. change the That's behavior. That's and saying restorative what? Practices. Restorative practices. practices. So right. think okay. about restoring. So we're trying to restore oh, it back, mm-hmm. yeah. the, to bring back that relationship between the teacher or okay. two students or whatever the case. So we sit down and we talk about mm-hmm. what happened, okay, yes. and who was hurt in this process, That's right. That's and right. how we bring it back to where we could understand one another and be able to get along sure. in the classroom or wherever in the hallways or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. rather than if I send you home. Right. Well, if I send you home and I'm mad at Johnny and Johnny come back, I'm still mad, mad at Johnny, at then we'll have the problem again if not dealt oh, with. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right? Now, is that practice in all school systems? More or? schools are, are, are picking it up. I, you know, I know our district, we're moving toward that. I'd start moving toward it three years ago. So I was yeah. just kind of, because I, I knew because I had the discipline. There had to be something different That's than right. just sending them home every day right. to That's be right. babysat right. or, the, you know, the parents and yes. those kinds of things. And so more school districts are moving toward what they call restorative practices. That makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. Yes. You need some of that in the home as yeah. well. Yes. 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 Restorative yes. practices. Yes. That's but good. A, a man in the home that's a godlike man. Yes. Yeah. That that has his self together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has to, he's got to be the leadership he's gotta got start. to be in mm-hmm. in order. You mm-hmm. got to be on the God's plan mm-hmm. and walk in that. Mm-hmm. And you know, I was listening to you also, you it's how you sit and talk to them. Yes. The tone and yes. all of that. Yes. Yeah. I mean mm-hmm. if they used to just screaming, hollering and yelling, that's all they know. Right. Yeah. That's right. it. That's, that's it. their yeah. language. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they, they, they mm-hmm. shut that off after a while. Right. Mm-hmm. And so right. they go within themselves. Well, they become immune mm-hmm. to it. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Immune yeah. to yeah. it. Yeah. So when someone talks to them in a soft voice, Same they might different. listen. Yeah. 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 Because that's a different yeah. tone. It's a different mm-hmm. sound. Yeah. And sometimes you, know? you have to just let them <clears throat> get that out. Yes. And so I'm like, okay, you done with all that so we can talk? Mm-hmm. And I'm just like this. Yeah. Right. We done with that? Because I'm listening to what you got to yeah, say. But we're going to talk just like this. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Well, yeah. I'm just mad. I'm just, I get all of that. You, you feel better now? <laughs> Reinforce it. Yeah, because it hadn't changed anything. No, right. Not. Let, let's see if we can work this wow, out. Right. Yeah. You yeah. know. That's good. And That's so good. what happens is even in you know the homes, everybody's yelling at one another. But mm. guess what? I'm, I promise you, it's passed down. Cause that's yeah, what that's happened. Right. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's how yeah. Mama she yelled, Dad yelled, yeah. and Everybody so it's yelling. just passed down. And I think you know the thing that we have to really realize the detriment that we do to mm. our kids right. when we as parents yes. don't do Say our that. part. That's that's right. Right. That's you right. know, right. and when we don't handle our own issues, yeah. they continue yeah. to yeah. trans. Oh. Yeah. Yes. yeah. They transfer from generation mm-hmm. to generation. That's we right. angry in this generation, yeah. we're going to be angry in the in next that. generation. Right. Until you, somebody says enough is enough. That's right. And you know what, Regina, <sighs> that I, I think this, re, this, this, all of this transformation has to take place across the board. Yes. Even yes. in the workplace. Yes. Yes. Oh, because yeah. Because we're going through some um, major training right now. Man, when I tell you, I think this, every company ought to go through this. Mm-hmm. We're going through a lot of ethics training. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we had a meeting a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we were talking about advancing the workplace, and they brought in managers. Mm-hmm. They brought in the people up under them, Mm -hmm. and they were going down the list, and they all put them in separate groups to hear from them Mm -hmm. how they are being treated out there and everything. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing how everybody had a different tone all the way around, but upper management knew where the problem was coming from. Mm -hmm. 
and now they set up ethics training. Mm -hmm. That's that same stuff need to be going on in the house. So that's where we're starting from. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because when we don't get it corrected in the house, house we don't get it corrected out. in the church, mm -hmm. it's going to go into the yes. community. Absolutely. It's going to go into the workplace. Yes. And yes. you got you got subordinate people in management positions mm -hmm. that have learned how to handle the house. So yeah, that's why the Bible says Ooh, that if anybody's going to be in a position yes. Yes. of leadership, yes. Yes. they got to learn how to handle Life, yeah. Them I know yes. that's not how it's yeah. supposed yeah. 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 But you're right. You're you got to learn how to handle yeah, your you own do. house Absolutely. first yeah. right. before you try yes. to be elder yes. over somebody yes. else. Yes. There, that's right. and, and that's why really thing. we have a lot of mm -hmm. people in the church. That's right. That because is. you're not handling your own house. That's, that's right. Exactly. If I'm a deacon, right. That's right. Right. then I can handle you because I'm as a deacon. I got the deacon badge. Yeah. You know, and I can tell you what to do. But you can't handle your own house. So since I can't boss at home, I'm gonna come to church and boss. That's right. No. No. That's out of order. Work. That's the way out, out of order. Right. Yes, but we would right. never have mm -hmm. strong churches until we have strong, strong families. families. Yes. And we would have right. strong communities. Yes. Everything is stemmed on the family. As a matter of fact, before God ordained the church, he ordained the family. That's right. That's right. So Damn. the family yes. comes before the church. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. So, so we're having to get a lot of things. Yes. I think the the church right now, if we could just understand our position <laughs> yes. oh, and yeah. how much how much of a how much of a part of change that we can, can play. play. Yes. If we will stay in our right oh, stay right. Stay in right our right tired mm -hmm. and you know stop falling out, start yeah. showing up. Yep. You know, if you just just believe that God is going to send in yeah. what it is that you mm -hmm. need and be in position, position. to do those yes. things, yes. you'll Receive be amazed it. at how yes. you can make yes. major oh, change. Yeah. Even if you don't touch but one life at a time. Well, like that time. one person goes and get a 12. Yeah. You know, yes. you know yes. it's, it's called but discipleship. Yeah. 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 But from that, this is where we got to be, though. Yeah. You got to have a spirit of unselfishness That's right. and a spirit of humility. That's right. Yes. This is not about any one person. That's it's right. about a force to be dealt That's with. Right. Yes. We, That's right. We're union in Christ, yeah. and then we're union together yeah. mm -hmm. but our yes. union has to start in Christ that's this right. is Christ yes. that's right yes that's yes. right and mm -hmm. this is kingdom business yes. it ain't Joe William business ain't yeah. Maryland that's business right. That's right. we're union in Christ and we move this yes. forward yes and you know yes. another thing that I noticed Joe is that a lot of times what we're finding what causes the church to be broken a lot is that sometimes the pastors don't understand what the help needs. that's coming yes. into their church. Yeah. 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 And yeah, they're they don't thinking that, oh, because that person, uh, you know, has such a strong sense of leadership that they're trying to take my church uh -huh. from me. Uh -huh. No, God was Insecure. just sending in what you we needed need in the house. Mm -hmm. But when we don't know our position right. and right. then help Come comes on. in, guess what we're going to do? We're going to keep slapping mm -hmm. their hands right. and all that. And eventually uh -huh. what they're going to do, they're going to leave. They're going to go because the the Bible says that if you don't take care mm -hmm. of those that God has sent to you, mm -hmm. he'll take them from mm -hmm. you and he'll give them give to them another. And then we yeah. say people church hopping. That's no, they're not. not. They're just in a position to where they want to serve, serve the body. But if the leadership don't understand That's what your right. purpose is for coming in there, mm -hmm. we're going to be a recite. That door just going to keep yeah, on slamming. And yeah. then guess what the people are going to do? They're going to be missing out on what God already oh, sent yeah. to the church no to problem. be the help that's yeah. there. Yeah. So yeah. we all have to remember that there's a hand, there's a foot, there's a Mouth, the body a, of Christ. That's what Corinthians say. Yes, yes, and, 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 and you need to operate what God. Body. Exactly yeah. right. So mm -hmm. even the smallest toe. That's exactly you know because right. people think everything is up front and it's got. But listen, you are imbalanced if you don't have your small toe oh, you or right. your big toe. Right. You Very become so. imbalanced, and right? Even important. Even yes. Yeah. 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 All of that. Exactly right. Yes. Hurt that baby toe. That baby toe will be major. It's major. About, it's about being serving the best human being. That's right. right. Bring be. the best you mm -hmm. that you bring can. Bring your best right. all the time. <laughs> yes. And then that's, that's right. really saying, I bring Christ. That's yes. right. Yes. I yes. bring him yes. everywhere. And it's really by serving. Because Jesus says, I didn't come to, to be served. Serve. Yeah. He said, I came to, to serve. serve. And so what we have now is people want to be served. Mm -hmm. They oh. want to know what it is they can get yeah. out of it. Yes. You that's know, right. and that is not what the church is about. It's about meeting the need. The physical church part is kind of like the huddle. But the real work is on the outside of the yeah, church, that's right. that's you right. know, but they because come and get yes, equipped. Yes, Someone yeah, got to right. be equipped. Yeah. Everybody needs exactly. to stay in their the place. Church. That's right. The church. Church. Get so right. the people so can they go, can go out. out. What they need to Absolutely. get out. Get exactly. the others. Yes. 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 Right. yes. When they see yes. the changes yes. that happen yes. in their lives, and, and that's they go. Being, 
I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, that's being that light and dark place. Yes. That's right. Your light mm-hmm. should precede you. That's mm-hmm. right. That's and, you right. know, it's glow. It's yeah. something there. Right. You know, when you walk in, God just walk in. Or Jesus mm-hmm. just walk in. We change walk the in atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. We change have the authority the to change yeah. the atmosphere. That's right. And we don't even recognize yeah. the authority that was given to us. Yes. The yes. Bible talks about that authority that was given us to raise Jesus from the dead. Yes. We have yes. that same yes. power. Yes. Same but we power. operate. Like we don't, that's that's right. Right. you know, we operate being like the lamp. That's not the plug is right there, but it's not plugged plug in. in. Right. And we or hope it's going to come plug. on. Or it's yeah. half plug. Yeah. And then you got it's a flicker. And I think sometimes yeah. that comes from a place of fear mm-hmm. saying true. that, oh, yeah. you know, they haven't seen the real you yet. Yeah. Right. It's still being, they don't know the real you. Yeah. yeah. We need to see the real you. That's yeah. right. That's and right. that has to manifest itself. That's right. Let it out. That's right. Come mm-hmm. on with it. Yeah. And you know, that's yeah. the real you. Yeah. They yeah. see the outside, Joe, but no, that's not the real you. What's in the inside? Right. Let, let it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. that kind of reminds me of, um, you know, my mind goes into some some <laughs> other places. Parental involvement means a lot. Yes. yes. Because that's any state of parenting that you're in. Yes. That means leadership. If you're in management, you are oh, a parent. Yes, oh, you yes. If you are the pastor, you, <laughs> you are, are a parent. parent. If you're an elder, you, you are, are a parent. parent. He's our father. He's, he's a parent. Father. That's yes. right. He's that's a, a parent. That's right. right. And he's been involved from day one. Right. That's, that's right. exactly right. right. Yes. And that's right. That's all right. Yes. And learn how yes. to be a good parent. A good parent. Yeah. Over the lives. It's kind of like where the Bible talks about that that shepherd and that hireling. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. the hireling's not going to take care of what he don't understand. Right. That's, exactly that's why right. Wolf come in and try to get him. Yeah. And what he's going to do, he's going to take our running just like them. That's right. And I think a lot of times we have to position ourselves for what it is that God has given to us, yeah. these children. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right, you don't come into this world knowing how to raise a child. No. Right. So you got to go in and really learn, okay, yes. well, what do I need to do? Especially with that first child. Yes. Yeah. Kind of that yeah. first you know, how do I ra- I got a boy and a girl. All right, they're raised totally different. different. Yeah, and what if I have one that's, you know, has a, a disorder or whatever? I still got to be a parent. Yes. I still right. got to right. be right. a parent. I still got to right. learn how to be. It may right. shift your right. life a whole lot. Right. Yeah. But yeah. because I'm so involved in that, yes. I'm concerned, okay, my whole world has changed. Yeah, yeah. it's changed. Yeah. Yeah. And I go the with that change. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And it's like Jesus. He meets us exactly where we are. Exactly. Yes. You know, because we, you know, all of us in different places, I always mm-hmm. say the church is a hospital and there's different levels. You that's know, you right. got trauma care, you got ICU, you got people <laughs> in the waiting room, yes, you right. got people that's in triage, right. all of us in different places, but we are in a place yes. where we can get some help. That's, that's right. right. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah that's yes. Right. That's yes. right. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's exactly yeah, yes. Right. And don't forget, we're ministers of yeah. reconciliation. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. right. We're supposed to reconcile the body. Yes. 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 Not yes. torment the body. Yes. yes. Not, not yes. torment. Yes. 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 And sometimes parents have to come together. Oh, yes. talk yeah. about oh, that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Gotta, we got to provide a support group around one right. another. Keep and, our arms you know, up. men coming together yes. to yes. discuss yes. maybe things that may, they may Five not talk six. about those things yeah. in front of women. Right. But right. Mm. because if the if you start doing that, guess what the children are going to do as well? Whatever you're valuing, the kids will start oh, yeah. valuing. Right. You know, yeah. I noticed my dad goes to this men support group over there. As a matter of fact, sometimes they have it to where the, the kids can come with yeah, them too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I like going. Yeah. Yes, yes, we have one that's going to help them when they get older yes. to join it's okay. in. It's okay to yes. join that's in. Exactly because right. you know as a as a race of people we've been raised to uh, you know, what's our business is our business. And, yeah, you know, what's yeah. in a household, stay in a household. Like but mm-hmm. either people going to find out why you did or somewhere down where yeah, you're lying. It but it's going to be it's, it's going to be exposed. Come, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And so, you know, it, I, I remember the Lord just clearly showing me this demonstration because I'm a visual person. <laughs> right. And so, you know how we sweep everything under mm-hmm. the rug? Right. You keep sweeping it. It's going to create a hump. And it you're sure does. All over. Right. 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 Yeah, because there's too much right. up under it's there. Yeah. Much. And That's so right. you get free. You know, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. But it's free by what you know. And if when you 
ask God to come in and release those things that that's have right. bound you yeah, or are right. those strongholds, those kinds of things. That's you release, right. you get your whole family. Yeah, that's but right. if you that's come right. in, you know, right. as I tell young people when they get married, don't think when you mm -hmm. come to the altar that everybody, you know, all his stuff and your stuff go in one suitcase. You still got your stuff to deal with. Y'all right. right. just, that's if he true. got six bags and you got yeah. seven bags, that's 13, 13 bags. Y'all get, getting ready to take to the house. <laughs> all and you it. got to, yes, and you got to deal with with and some of it got yeah, some yeah. tape around yes. it. There's so much yes. you got to pop yeah, open, right? right? Backpacks, <laughs> and you know, all fanny this. packs, all those things all that stuff. we bring, hoping that our spouse, you know, it's not that Jack Crane is supposed to complete me, right. you know, is that we come together in completion. I'm We're two completed people. That's right. And then even in it, I tell women all the time is don't lose your identity that's right don't lose, don't lose your identity i'm right. dealing with women right now that say i don't even know what i like because i was used to doing this for this person mm. and like this and i don't even know what color i like what wow. what wow. Wow. Is that why they say I'm going to do me? Yes. Yeah, yes. Now, now they talk me. about they yeah, want to do me now. You don't even know you. So that's what you exactly going to do? Right. Yeah. <laughs> what you going to yeah, do? You, you don't know, know you. you. That's right. <laughs> so so you, know, you need to find so you true. first. <laughs> yes. well, guys, I want to say it has been an yes. honor to have yes, both of our guests on the show here. We like company. We love company. We love company coming over to the house. We love company. I hope that the aroma that's been in the home has been fun. That, it's been uh, an awesome you day. Welcome, and yes. that you would come back again with us, and, um, because family really is important yes. to us all. And I hope that you know. A lot of times, I know we're being humorous about a lot of things, but that that parent involvement and understanding yes. our youth is so important oh, gosh, uh, yeah. for us to all blend in society together. And I, my prayer is even this evening that. Everybody would kind of think about mm -hmm. things a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Think about mm -hmm. where they are. You know, what are you going to do when you go home? I know we got plans. My daughter's coming over, and we we turning on Netflix tonight. And, mm -hmm. and I told them I'll be there. That's I'll family. be there so That's I can family. watch it with y'all. You know, family. yeah. To watch this movie. I watched them. the movie on Netflix called yeah. Questioning Your Faith. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. uh, awesome movie. Yes, that. you need to watch that. Mm -hmm. Questioning your, your faith. faith. Uh -huh. Questioning your, Question right. your faith. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, we want to say yes. thank you guys for joining us today. <laughs> and we look forward to coming back again. Y'all, we will not be here next week. We do have a workshop that's taking place next Saturday. <laughs> Where are we and gonna uh, we're going to be in Tyler, Texas. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're going to be talking Cameron. about making your dreams a reality. And sometimes we just want to kind of uh, stop and uh, share time with our mentees and others that are in the community and, and let them see us face to face. Oh, and, but we're going to miss you guys on yes. next week. We'll bring something to you. We're not quite sure what just yet, but we want to welcome you guys back every Saturday every from Saturday. 5 to 7 o'clock p.m. right here on Fishbowl Radio Network. Be sure to share with others out there what's taking place and, and come and join us in our living room every Saturday because we every really look Saturday. forward to you guys being in here. So until we meet again, y'all be blessed and we we will be back with you shortly yeah. in Jesus' name. Y'all be safe out there as well. If it's <laughs> raining in your area, y'all uh, take precaution with everything and just know that God really loves you. Y'all make make sure you make it to church Sunday morning. Amen. <laughs> I'm sitting at home watching it on, on Internet. I'm talking to my own self, too. Amen. Don't be watching on the Internet. He's going to be at work Monday. Yeah, he's going to be at work on Monday. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys be blessed. Awesome visual shirts, sweaters, and accessories through the Fishbowl Radio Network website. Log on to FBRN.com.